Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft. In this mini tutorial we're going to be exploring Code Connector and how to connect Code Connector to your Windows 10 Minecraft account. Okay, it's just the normal account. It's not even Education Edition. You don't. You can do this as a homeschooler. You can do this as uh, if you've got a version at least of Minecraft for your Windows 10 PC. It doesn't seem to work on anything else, unfortunately, which is a bit of a with a bit of a shame. Um, but there you go. It used to work for iPad, but that's uh, it doesn't seem to be working for that either at the moment. So anyway, but it does work for Windows 10, which is pretty incredible. I, I've even actually got the code connector running on my Mac laptop, and that can connects to this too. So without further ado, let's show you how to connect it, how to download it and connect it, and see what we can actually do with it and what it's all about and what all the fuss is really about. So let's go to the website now I've got a little website here uh, which is the alternative downloads and it's quite good because it's got all the downloads that we need so you've got Minecraft Education Edition which we don't need but it's got Code Connector for Windows 10 and Mac OS so depending on what version you want to run the Code Connector on uh, remember uh, it will only connect to Windows 10 version of Minecraft uh, so you're going to need a PC at some point anyway so you can just press that download it I've downloaded it here it downloads a little MSI an installer once you've got that installed uh, you get uh, a little program called code connector which looks like this uh, and it opens up let's just uh, minimize that so this is code connector here there I am behind you and it says please enter the following command in Minecraft Education Edition don't let that for you you can actually load it in air, air, in into Windows 10 bedrock okay so I'm just gonna copy that pop into bedrock press T on my keyboard to open up the chat and press control V to paste it in okay press enter and step back a little bit and my little Robot pal, my Wizard Keen's agent. Wait, there he is. <laughs> he has appeared right next door to me, which is brilliant. So it's like, well, okay, well, what happens now? Well, what happens now if I press escape? I'm just going to press escape and just take this and move it to one side. Uh, and then uh, well, I need to grab this. Now, in Code Connector, we've got choose your editor we've got code.org we've got make code we've got scratch we've got tinker and we've got me add a service so you know maybe there's a new service out there and we're connected uh on the lan uh, by this little kind of thing which is our local area network number okay so what i'm going to do is i wonder what this pencil does oh i can add a i can add something else then well we don't need to do that so well let's just go make code like this so it makes code and it opens it up. So I'm going to just move that to this side because I like it on the right hand side. And we've got, now got two things. Resume my game. So I'm here on the left. Hello. And I press escape and I can go here on the right. So I've got these two kind of things. So let's, let's just sort of make a new project. Okay. We'll, we'll call this test. Okay. Be creative. And make code is really cool. If you've ever played with with Scratch or kind of other bits like this, this is going to become quite familiar. You've got these blocks of code uh, that you can kind of use. So you can say on start, we've got a big friendly start button down there. On start, uh, we can do things like, uh, let's go to, let's do, do agent. Uh, agent teleports to player. Right. Oh no, actually, let's do this. Let's do uh, t teleport okay so on chat command teleport the agent teleports to the player press play to run the code so the code is now running on the code connector on the right and I'm gonna go on to the left and I'm gonna walk away from agent stay stay <laughs> stay agent stay and then I'm in my in here I'm gonna type in teleport an agent has mysteriously, well, not mysteriously, uh, effectively uh, teleported to me. That's how that kind of works. So this isn't going to be a big tutorial about how to kind of make all this stuff work. This is really a demonstration that Code Connector can run with the normal Minecraft bedrock. And it is really powerful, especially for homeschooling and things like that. If you're if you're kind of stuck at home or you're isolating and you just want to kind of do some some coding and stuff like that, or you want to teach your your your, your you know your Minecraft crazy kind of child some kind of cool things about code. There is all sorts of stuff here. There's also so let's just sort of quickly go over some of the basics in each section. 
there's a bunch of code which is pretty awesome okay there is also the Java you can see it in JavaScript if you wanted to kind of longhand right and the nice thing about this is this uh, does exactly what the block code lo looks like okay so this is what the block code looks like and this is what the, the long scripting kind of code looks like player dot on chat open bracket uh, you know uh, teleport comma function open parentheses close parentheses you know it's like it's kind of like that okay so what else we've got here we've got also we've got all of this uh, in the code so we can actually kind of start to kind of learn some of those interesting syntaxes as well let's close that down and go back to um, go oops go back to the block <laughs> it's a block code I'm over clicking. There we go. Um, let's have a look at sort of basic. So in basic, we've got on chat command jump. We got on air on player walk, um, which looks interesting. Swim water runs code when the current player travels in a certain way. Awesome. So we could kind of go on play walk. Uh, let's do blocks. Place. Oh yeah, let's do this. Place this uh, minus one. And let's place, uh, ooh, what should we place? Something like gold or something like that. The golden path. Yeah, yellow concrete, that's fine. We'll do that. Okay, so now we're going to go back into resume game. And then everywhere I walk, it should, <laughs> awesome, it should place down a gold, well, yellow, yellow concrete everywhere I walk. Which is pretty cool. So, you know, it, it, it's actually a really powerful um, kind of tool and it should be quite entertaining for any young person to kind of pick up and start to kind of think oh well, you know I, I, to make things you know to code stuff and to kind of think well you know why should it you know why why bother oh, why can't I get that there we go <laughs> trying to paint the floor with my feet blip 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 so this is uh, this is why I kind of enjoy it and I kind of actually it, it's actually really good because you can actually do some really cool build tools and other bits and pieces with this as well you can also make mini games and other bits like, and other stuff too but i think mainly and there's some really you know quite ch chunky maths in here as well which is really interesting too so you can make calculators you can make all sorts of stuff it's a great starting place for learning about computational thinking and uh, and the kind of the basics the fundamentals of coding and stuff like that in the fun game of Minecraft. So this is the how-to uh, and the little video explaining uh, more. And what we want to do is want to kind of do more stuff, which is kind of really think about kind of what can be done in these and think about little projects that might be available uh, using Code Connector. You know, what kind of cool things can you do? And sort of showing and telling those kind of things. And then sup, you know, giving you kind of ideas and inspiration so you can kind of do this stuff for yourself. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what other things you're interested in and I hope it's been of some use to you. Take care. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.